One of the beautiful things about using our program is that it enables you to have an individualized program to meet the needs of that particular child, maybe even with special needs. Now, one of the advantages of an individualized program is it's a mastery learning program. And I want you to think of it in terms of a child having mastery of every concept before he moves ahead. So he will never be in a position where he doesn't have a solid foundation for success. One of the problems with a traditional program, which is in a large typical group, is that time is a constant and mastery level is a variable. And what happens is a teacher prepares a lesson plan on a particular concept. She teaches it or he teaches it. There may be learning exercises that are done in class. There may be homework. But at some point, there's going to be an assessment of mastery level. The child is going to be graded in a traditional grading system, A through F, and then they're going to be moved on. But what happens if a child doesn't have complete mastery of that concept? And they continue down the scope and sequence well, at some point, they don't have mastery of an earlier concept that requires that skill to learn the next one. It puts them in a situation of difficulty and a potential failure. And that's one of the things that you avoid by setting up a mastery learning program that will meet the needs of each one of the children God's entrusted to you. Mastery level is a constant. Time is the variable. Some children will take longer than others. But what difference does it make? They will be ultimately successful. And as children grow in the program, they will develop the ability of concentrating more, of focusing their energy more on the task. Their retention will increase, and you will ultimately be able to help a child develop the tremendous mental capacity that God has given them. Now, one thing to think about is that children have an ample amount of energy. And your job as an educator is to enable them to put some of that energy into working to learn. And that is your job, is to have a program that will enable them to learn and to be validated and praised for every time they put forth energy into working to learn. And I want you to think in terms of those kind of constructs. Every time that child tries, he puts forth energy into working to learn and completes an assignment. It's critical that you recognize and validate the child for his effort. And when you do that, you create a good experience for that child. You know, there's an intrinsic sense of satisfaction when you take upon yourself a project and complete it. And if that can be recognized and validated by you, a significant other to that child, He's going to have a positive experience, an experience that takes place in time and space that makes him feel good, successful, and competent. And that's what you want to do. And a mastery learning program that you set up will help the child do that. The program that we have worked on for 40 years, this was one of the fundamental constructs that we developed. To do it, we had to develop all of our own curriculum. The mastery learning program enabling a child every time he put forth energy into working to learn for the teacher to be able to validate and to be able to create these positive affective experiences. So a teacher would be able to know when that child put forth energy into working to learn and that energy unit was standardized on both duration of time for completion of the exercise and conceptual level of difficulty.